Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast. I'm Seth. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. Hey. Oh, hey. What's going on, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? You put out a short film. Hmm. A, f- a six-year-long short film. Yeah, finally I came scoured out. Scoured the entire internet. <laughs> what? It turned out. It turned out good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's great. That's great. Yeah, it's doing pretty well too. I mean, just one dislike. That's not too bad. Hey, it's <laughs> got, a, got a nice reception. Could be worse. Yeah. Thank you, anyone who has watched it, left a comment, liked it. Yeah, you have a lot of support from uh, all walks of life. I really do. All walks. Well, you know, <laughs> good filmmakers uh, attract everybody. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Hundred percent facts. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and the guy who made uh, who made Jeepers Creepers is attracted to little boys. So, <laughs> huh. well, that's then. true. Only oh. now is it a big deal, though. Nobody cared. Nobody cared before. Oh, oh of course yeah. not. <laughs> you let him get away with it. What? <laughs> Fifteen years ago. No take backsies. It's the Polanski effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a difference between that guy and Polanski. But... <laughs> Is there <laughs> one of them makes one of them rapes and is good at movies? Okay, there you go. The other one just rapes. Jeepers, Jeepers, Jeepers. Creepers is good. Oh, the third one though, right? Let me see your ass. <laughs> Jeepers, Creepers, let me see your asshole. <laughs> Jeepers, Creepers, where did you get those nips? <laughs> so what's been going on, <laughs> fellas? <laughs> Any libations? Oh, drinking the libations. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Did you go to Oregon or something? When? Well, I don't know. <laughs> did I go to Oregon? I'm going to Oregon in uh, March. Cool. Yeah. Traveling it up. Yeah, not nice. leaving the West Coast at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not leaving the West Coast at all. Well, you know, at least I leave my house. <laughs> well, I got to come out to your place sometime, so... No, why don't you go east? Why don't you go north, I'm anywhere? I'm from east. I'm from the east. Go at somewhere. Not... Take tea. Take her out, you know? At least I'm go not somewhere living nice. in the same area I grew up in. He panics as soon as he steps foot outside. <laughs> oh, don't talk to me, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I've got to get back in. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You gonna return your Switch? You gonna keep it? What are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> God. It's not I, bet, here I yet, bet it's so. gonna keep you up at night. Oh, it will. Oh, I already did last night. Oh, my I, God. I can just imagine seeing him just staring up at the ceiling at night thinking about, should I keep the Switch? Should I keep the Switch? What should I do? Should I take a shower in the morning? <laughs> do I want to take a shower or no? Oh, my <laughs> That's God. That's the weirdest of them all. <laughs> That is the biggest mystery. Do I shower all. now or when I wake up and get an extra 10 minutes of sleep? Shut up. Is that true, though? That's about right, right? Could be. Could be not. All right. Well, I'm thinking could be. <laughs> Maybe. You guys watch any movies lately? What's a movie? <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll have some top 10 lists coming out soon. Oh, nice. <sighs> top 10 list. Of, well, I wouldn't say the top 10s are bad. It's just the, um, well, we'll get into it a little later with the Oscar talk. They are Ugh. a little ill. Yeah. I'm so not into the this, Oscars uh, this year. <laughs> I watched this kick ass new Gigi Allen documentary. I saw that. You gave that with a <laughs> four and a half? Dude, it's so good. <clears throat> <laughs> In what way? Like, what scale are we talking about? It's a good look into, uh, you know, the other side of GG, the side that wasn't shitting on stage and smeared it on his face. That's great. Okay. All right. Where's that doc at? Is that Netflix? No, I think it's a Showtime thing. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, it's good to know you're watching stuff of quality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man of many tastes. And hey, interests. That's, that's the best way to be. Don't let, don't leave any stone unturned. That's right. Have you guys seen Fire? Oh 
God. No. <laughs> Everyone's an expert on that, though. Have now. you seen I Fire know, right? Fraud? Everyone's a big expert. God. That Ja Rule, what a scam artist. <laughs> <laughs> He promised supermodels and yachts, but delivered tents and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> oh, good God. Fuck. <laughs> you can always tell when something shit when it becomes popular on Facebook. That's right. That's true. Oh, my God. It's the same director of Jim and Andy. An American movie. <laughs> oh, American oh. movie. Hey, American I, movie, American movie, American movie. <laughs> I want to see it. Did you guys ever see American movie? This part's really, oh, American movie. This part's hilarious. Oh, you got to watch it. <laughs> What's that? I've never seen it. I thought you liked that one. I I like that one a lot. Never seen it. I'm sure it's good, but I heard enough about it yeah. you know, a couple years yeah. ago that I don't ever need to watch it. That now what mid nineties? Mid nineties. Mid nineties. You know what looks really cool? Ted Bundy. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. Like yeah. fuck. It's alright. Uh what, you watch the whole It's only 200... four episodes. Oh, you watch it? Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. You're. Did you rich. see the trailer for that? The... No. You did it. Are you talking you about the Zac that? Efron one? Yeah, wickedly whatever. No. Did it, what, did it look cool? I mean, it it looks okay. I'm 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 interested. It looks like a doled down version of House that Jack built. Oh. I hope there's blood. Guts. I just remember that that shitty <clears throat> Dahmer film that came out a few years ago with that Disney Channel kid. <sighs> that sucked. I, I yeah, watched that's, that. That's Wait, so which boring. one? Which one was that? My friend. My, my friend, friend Dahmer. Dahmer. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be good. Supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking boring, dude. Supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's like bad. don't you watch a, da- a Dahmer movie to see him like actually slicing and dicing? It, it's like and... an autistic even Stevens. Yeah, oh, I, I don't thing is about. care how he grew up. Like, I just want to see him slice up people. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you you can kind of figure out how he... Actually, I don't think he did grow up terribly. His parents got divorced, so he was pissed about it. So he killed people. He was a weird one. <laughs> He's a madman. Help us. Save us. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the audience been saying? Any uh, questions coming in? Uh, we do have a few questions. We'll, we'll, uh, we got a few voice ones, but we'll go ahead and read the, <clears throat> the text ones real quick. Uh, the Land of Maybe. Oh, he's just, he's always around now. Love this guy. Seth. What's up, bro? Very important question. Should JD's wife be on the Stern Show? <laughs> oh, Stern question. <laughs> Um, I can see stern, why J- stern, 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 yeah. stern, 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 stern. I can see why JD wouldn't want his wife on the show, but I also don't think he'd even be with that chick if it wasn't for the show. So, JD needs to man up and uh, let us let us hear his wife. Who's JD? For those of guy, us who does who don't know, <laughs> uh, employee of the Howard Stern show. He's notorious for not being able to talk. They make fun of him. He mumbles. He can't ever get a sentence out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, though, he he always sucked with women, and then, you know, he came became a personality on the Stern Show, and now he's married, and the chick's pretty hot. Nice. But it's, of course, it's because he's on the yeah. Stern Show. Yeah, that's probably why. Love JD, though. All right. Well, I hope, I hope JD allows it to happen, because I'm really itching to see what that episode would be like. That's right. <laughs> Team Com Tom. Team Com Tom. Team Com Tom. Short round. Is the power of marketing trumping... Ge- oh, I see what you did there. Is the power of marketing trumping genuine artistry at award ceremonies? Wow. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I watched a video not too long ago about how basically uh, Harvey Weinstein bought the Oscar in, for Shakespeare in Love. Oh, really? I mean, who's even fucking seen that movie? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was so much as bot, but just the marketing that goes into it is just in, insane. Good point. So, yeah, then yes. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I think you're saying, like, you know, is Black Panther worthy of being a. Uh, no. Best... No, of course not. No, but, you know, it's, no. but, but it's changed now. It's... Everything's changed now. Everything's different. The landscape has changed. Yeah. Well, you can't offend anybody. It's no. About how much money the movie makes, not the movie in general. It's a travesty, though, that um, mid '90s first reform shit like that's not even mentioned. Yeah. Well, especially when they've only used eight out of ten spots. You know, right. you've got two, two more spots you could fill up with. You know, first reformed if Beale Street could talk, like anything. Right. Right. Um, 
Film Rebel, can we get a commentary on Halloween 2018 with all of all three of you? Yeah, God, I'd be do down I, with that. Do I want to watch it again? <laughs> Are you going to make me sit through that a third time, Grubby? <laughs> because it's getting worse and worse every time. That'd be fun. Yeah, I could do that. I'd have to find it somewhere. Yeah, because I wouldn't I own it. it. Best Buy. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'd have to steal it. Pull a filmies and steal it. Hey, gonna get caught one day. Maybe you'll you still see that do in October. it. What? Um, well, you still do it? No, I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> See this phone case? I stole it. No, but after T told me that like Target watches you and keeps tabs, and once you steal a certain amount, they'll go after Is you. Is that true? Like, that's what she said. She said <laughs> they keep tabs on it. And I'm like, how, do you, how would you keep tabs? How would you know? Five finger filmies. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. That kind of pushed me away a little bit. Uh, Kyle Opp. Would you watch? <laughs> would you watch a Zoltar superhero movie? Of course, starring Ellard Coltrane and his Zoltar. Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Kyle, hell yeah, I would. I just got acid reflux listening to that question. <laughs> sure, it's not that uh, vanilla Coke you're sucking. It's out? probably the Blue Moon I'm drinking. <laughs> oh shit! With a slice of orange. Oh yeah. I didn't have time to get the orange though. You no. really are sucking down some libations. Wow, he's a big drinker now. God, I love alcohol. God, you make He's a one big drinker, make one short film, and all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> sitting there with his you know legs crossed, drinking uh, some whiskey. My legs rocks. are crossed. <laughs> legs, legs crossed with a cigar, or a pipe, like a cigar, <sighs> red robe. <laughs> it is complete. A woman, a woman sucking him off while he's doing this. <laughs> it's a great life you have, Matt. Hey, Make sure you're not staring at the wall anymore. Can't, co- <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> uh, Michael Groves, what's one movie you would like to see a video game of? For me, a boyhood game. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Could be a JRPG. Yeah, like a, yeah, an RPG where you grow up. Wow. That's kind of cool. cool. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hmm. That's tough because the transformation from game to movie or movie to game is usually never that great. That's true. Uh, I'm not sure what I movie. Pick. Hmm. The raid. That well, okay? That would make a good game. That is it. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> hmm. Any any uh, adventure movie really? Um, I really like to see a film about Barry Lyndon. <laughs> a game about Barry Lyndon. Yeah. Oh. Be a side scroller. Yeah. Takes a hundred hours to beat. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get these trophies. <laughs> uh, let's see. Farhad. Farhad Devich. Oh, Farhad. Farhad. What's up, bro? What's up, guys? What are some films that make you guys emotional or tear up? Good one, hunting. Yeah. It's all a wonderful life. <clears throat> yeah, all Sorry, my favorites. I just got choked up. It's a wonderful life. Sorry, I just got me choked up talking about it. <clears throat> Cast away. The last movie, like, <laughs> Hacksaw <laughs> Ridge, like, when I watched that in theaters, that made me well up. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do in it. In your pants. Oh, Feel the but dreams. Came out of every every hole. Every <clears throat> orifice. <laughs> Feel the dreams. Casper. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Yep. No, yeah, it does. <laughs> Which one? Casper. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Is that a good oh, God? Or... It got, got cold. It got, got dark. Cold. <laughs> Took off my, my dad pants. left me out in the fucking snow it's by fucked myself. fucked up, dude. He died. He's dead. Yeah, yeah he's I know dead he's dead. The whole movie. <laughs> it's not like some... Yeah, but he tells epiphany. a story. He tells a story how he died. It's sad. What do you think? You, have, you really have the, your finger on the pulse of Casper and what's going on it's in it? It's fucking sad. <laughs> Dude, he died. Yeah, no shit. He's a ghost. <laughs> he died. You see, you see what happened. Why it's he a ghost died? The whole. It's not like watching The Sixth Sense. You can it tell he's a cold. ghost the whole time. It got cold. <laughs> he sucked, he sucked me off. <laughs> oh, so Casper. Okay. Yep, it's in there. <clears throat> the kid. Oh yeah, the Bruce Willis film. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Ew. That's that's the better of the kid films. <laughs> the kid will do it. <clears throat> Uh, Kyle Bauer, does Seth shit Nickelodeon slime? <laughs> Probably. No, he just shits chocolate soft serve. Ugh. Slime, slime time live, baby. Crohn's disease. <laughs> Stop. Anytime you, anytime you see the Nick Choice Awards, it's Seth shit. 
all over that stage. Maybe. Disgusting. Ronin Cinema 84. If you could only own three Criterions, what titles would it be? It's too tough. Boyhood? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the Criterions that I love Boyhood the most. Boyhood for sure. Night of the Hunter for me. The Before Trilogy? Is that three oh, films yeah. or one? That's one. Uh, I That's count one. as one. <clears throat> okay. So two Linklaters and I got a third one to pick. Uh, no walkabout, huh? No walkabout? <laughs> No, it sounds like maybe it's the generic mainstream answer, but I'd probably pick The Breakfast Club. Okay. In mm-hmm. terms of shit I would want to rewatch, you know? Oh, yeah. If it's in terms uh, oh. of that, yeah. But if it's in terms of, like, what you can get, give me the Bergman set. Okay. Fair okay. enough. Um, I think he was just telling you to pick three films. But... <laughs> I know, but why follow the question directly? It's boring. There you go. <clears throat> well, you're always thinking outside the box. Uh, yeah, Taco Bell sounds good. Mmm. Nacho fries are back, everyone. <laughs> I tried those one time. It wasn't... They're they, were so, they were soggy. I don't know. Maybe I had a bad batch. <laughs> God. <laughs> Sorry, they're not going to be fucking amazing. They're nacho oh fries for dollar sh- thirty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like on a Michelin star cuisine at Taco Bell. <laughs> I know, sorry, apparently. I wish I could get out. Sorry, Gordon Ramsay. Fuck. <laughs> Tastes like fucking shit. Oh, shit. These fries are yeah. fucking soggy. <laughs> fucking soggy. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm not really going to answer the question. Just give me the one. Matt? I, I agree. Before Trilogy, Boyhood, and uh, Night of the Hunter. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, a couple more here. We've got Real Jack Attack. Would you prefer to see every... F- oh, this is an easy question. Would you prefer to see every film in a theater or only watch them at home via streaming? <laughs> at home, bro. The theater sucks. <laughs> yeah. I don't like going outside. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, I people love- have to watch the movie with us? <laughs> <sighs> I love the theater experience. I just wish you could, like... Do you, though? Yeah. No. Well, I don't get it. <laughs> I li- I just like watching it in the theater. I like uh, the like if you were alone. The sound and oh yeah, alone, yeah, yeah, not with it, people. It. Oh okay, okay. fair that, enough. Well, that was my next. The next thing I was going to say, if you could just like <laughs> kick everybody else out and just watch it alone, that'd be perfect. But you can't. Sure, if I knew the cinema was going to be empty every time, then I picked the cinema. But it never is. No. <clears throat> but yeah, home would be great. Home where I can pause to go get a, something to eat or take a piss. Nobody's yeah. Talking, ruin it for me. Yeah. Still curious to see what's going to happen with that whole home cinema thing they were talking about, where you pay the price and you can watch. Oh yeah, movie oh Sean, at home. Sean Parker screening room. <clears throat> what? Is it Sean Parker screening room? What's that? Is that who's Is it doing the it? Service? Is that what they're calling it? Well, that was the service that he was pitching. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, we've talked about it before. We unless did. There's yeah, a different, I did. unless I there's something know. new. No, that's I'm talking about what we, we what we talked about. Yeah. Do you want to buy a Tower called. Records? No. What? <laughs> no, isn't that Sean Parker? Social Network? Nap- Napster. Yeah, Social Network. I was quoting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Oh, that, one, went right that one went over my head. Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, your, that's your real cinephiles. <laughs> nope. Nope, just pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> that's true. Not, not in today's Yeah, age. you've already gotten raided once. There's a microphone in your house. You <laughs> fucked. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, last one here. Garrett Mann. Seth, A-Rod, or DJ? And Ew. why? Oh, Derek, bro. <laughs> A-Rod or a BJ? I'd, I'd rather take DJ Tanner. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair I do enough. love A-Rod, though, even though everyone hates him. But I was which, always a fan. Which one but, would you rather get pounded by? Yeah. Yes. Which one? Derek. <laughs> hey, you, an- you answered that so quickly. <laughs> what did you say? You answered that Derek. so quickly. Well, when he used to, there, there was a story that came out years ago, like when he was, he would always have chicks over and then, you know, he'd hook up with them and then some chick came out and said that she gave him like a gift basket. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> so like he fucks these chicks and then probably gives them a basket full of sign shit. So. There we go. <laughs> you had the pleasure of fucking Derek Jeter today. Yeah. <clears throat> if I can get a gift, gift basket out of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whatever it takes for a signed bat. That's right. Let me sign your bat. Yep. 
Oh, shit. Okay, we got a couple of uh, voice questions here, so we'll start out with the first one. To the scumbags, AJ here once again, or as told by Gonzo on Instagram. What's up, Cinema Scumbags? I just listened to the latest podcast, and you guys were talking about wildlife. Um, I actually yes. attended Sundance 2018 last year, and I actually got to go to the premiere of that movie. Um, it was really kind of surreal, because I was like five rows back uh, from where the cast and crew were sitting. Damn. So, like five rows in front of me was like Paul Dano and Jake Gyllenhaal. So Fuck it, that oxable. Kind of a cool experience. <laughs> I actually got to meet uh, Paul Dano after the premiere and uh, Ed Oxborough. And got oh, there to you go. With him and got to talk to him for a few minutes. They're really cool, neat guys. I missed Jake Joan Hall. He was already like in the car. <laughs> no. Already down the road, but it was so cool. <clears throat> uh, with that said, my question is, what um, film festivals would you guys be interested in attending? I've been to two. I've been to Sundance, and I've also been to SIF, uh, Seattle International Film Festival. I'm from Seattle, so it's pretty much like a half-hour drive for me. I try to attend it every year. Um, but what is your film festival that you guys would like to attend to? All right, keep up the good work, guys. It's Yeeling Hall. Hell of a call. <laughs> great call. That was a great call. Yeah, it's great. Good, good story and a good question, man. <clears throat> Jealous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Premiere of Wildlife with that star studded cast? Yeah. Nice. I don't know. Maybe like <clears throat> Cans. I think Tiff. I've always wanted to go Tiff. I'd like to go to Sundance. Well, there you go. That was easy. I mean, any of them, really. Any of them, yeah. yeah you can't really yeah. go wrong with it with with any of them. Um, and then we have another one, but it's just so idiotically unlistenable that. Oh, I heard that. That. <laughs> I, I, Speaking of that, uh, <laughs> so, so I heard you're stealing films from people. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, why yeah. are you t- why are you taking films? <clears throat> well, I, gu- I guess I didn't scour every 200 subscriber channel there is. <laughs> so you're, sp- you're supposed to watch everything before you come up with the. Uh, <laughs> you have to make sure it's okay with everybody. I guess so. I'm sorry. Dude, I... people hate filmies, man. They're... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Because I don't there's follow a, there's them. There's like a group no, yeah, of people. There's a whole bunch of guys that are like that think filmies is stuck up because he's like doesn't follow him on uh, Letterboxd and shit. Like, you know. Sorry, but maybe not everyone's interested in reading a thousand word essay about why Uncle Buck isn't that great of a movie, you know? Yeah, yeah if I want to. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I use Letterbox to uh, track what I watch. I don't care what other people watch, and I definitely don't need cringe comedy in my Yeah, you want to talk about. Feed. You want to talk about pretentious, you know? Fucking navigate over to some of those people's Letterbox. And oh, yeah. About all, oh, yeah. That's about all we're going to say about it, but. Get the fuck out. And if you're going to call, which we obviously know who you are, you know, dude, make it so we can at least understand you. I was embarrassed. That was an embarrassing effort, bro. It really, well, really embarrassing. The the, uh, the voice chat, like, guesser with the text couldn't even read <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right. It, it's bad when the, uh, the deaf assistant doesn't <laughs> pick up on what you're trying to say. So if you want to call back with your real voice and, you know, make yeah. your points about whatever you want to say, then go for it. And then we'll respond. But, you know, otherwise... Come on, step it up. That We'd was be that happy was to weak. hear from you. Oh, yeah. That was weak. That was weak. Agreed. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, that's all we have for questions, though. So I don't know. That's it. Okay. Cool. Right. Thanks for listening. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, fans of the great uh, Studio Ghibli? Of course, man. Some of those are masterworks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, this came as a bit of a, a surprise because, as the whole world should know, uh, Miyazaki, who's known as you know the animator, the creator of a lot of these stories, uh, he retired at some point. Now it's coming out that he and his son are working on two new Ghibli's. Wow. So he's co- he's coming out with all new original film. Like he's gonna do it. Yeah. Um, let me let me get the article here. <clears throat> let me just say though, I hope he's doing most of the work and not his son, because the one his son did is maybe the worst Ghibli title. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen which that. One, one which one? Which one did his son do? Uh, Tales of Earthsea. Oh yeah, I haven't even heard of that. It, like, like it makes no sense. Well, it looks like it came from a a foreign Twitter, but it just says, "I can testify, Miyazaki and his son are at work. Two new productions from Studio Ghibli are in progress, and the drawings are incredible. Very big emotion." That's sick. So that's exciting. Something to get, something to look forward to. Those uh, are. Have you seen any of those, Matt? No, I mean I've been dying to. I want to get that oh, set. Fuck. Man. <clears throat> Just knock them out. 
Like at all those Ghibli's, you know, we've talked about it before, but the Miyazaki ones are like a whole nother level. I know. I love oh, them. Yeah. I mean, they're just, some are better than the others, but even the ones that aren't as good as the best ones are still good. Are still like really good. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, it said the project from Hiao Miyazaki is likely his highly anticipated feature length film, How Do You Live? The epic fantasy action adventure that Miyazaki began working on three years ago with the intent of a 2020 release time. Nice. Sweet. Follows a 15 year old boy who moves into his uncle's house after his father's death and undergoes a journey of spiritual growth. Will boast never before done techniques that will probably be related to his experimentation with computer animation. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. I okay. see you, Miyazaki. That's exciting. I love it. <clears throat> and uh, another thing, well, we talked about this a little bit, but uh, I guess the uh, Breaking Bad movie started filming. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. Oh man, <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it. Yeah, they shouldn't do it. Can we just leave it alone? <clears throat> I don't know where I saw it from, but I'm not seeing it anywhere else, so we'll just say that that's not true. But I don't. Yeah, you can you research your sources <laughs> a little bit before we you bring them in as news topics. <laughs> no, because now I can say that I don't want this. I don't want it to ever be made. It's not necessary. Um, and that's and, coming from someone who has a Breaking Bad tattoo. Yeah, before too long. I mean, you have Better Call Saul, which is good, but before too long, you're gonna overplay your hand, and you're just sure. gonna you're gonna. It's at one point you're gonna make something that's not good. Okay, so maybe that didn't start filming today, but something else did. <laughs> oh, great! Is it, is it a new pizzeria comedy? Can't oh, it's wait. a sequel to a 2009 film, Zombieland. Oh. oh. Production is underway on Zombieland Double Tap, the official oh. name of the sequel. Uh, Let me say is... it was uh, really nice of Emma Stone, Oscar-winning <laughs> Emma Stone, to uh, lend her abilities to this, to uh, to humor the cast and crew and be in yeah. this film. They yeah. uh, recreated the original poster. Emma's still looking hot. The other chick is now grown up, looking looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, the other good. if you could say that. <laughs> hey, you don't think so? Abigail? I mean, Let me she... see it. <laughs> Let me see. It. Let me look her up. I don't want. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah. If you look her up, it's different than uh, <laughs> than that picture. No, anyway, whatever. What's wrong with that picture? Nothing, nothing. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's great. This is 2019, Matt. I'm just. She is a lovely lady. Let's just keep it like that. Okay. Sometimes she looks. Really yeah, she's good. very Other charming. Time she does not. But that's she's that's thick. anybody. Yeah. Wait, what were you saying? You were saying something about Jesse Eisenberg's uh, head or his body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this was like a, one of those fake Photoshop jobs because Jesse Eisenberg's his head looks like it's on the body of the old movie. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty. It's really smart though the marketing to kind of catch that ten year challenge thing. Oh, I, I think he just you know perfectly recreated his expression, <laughs> <laughs> his his distaste for being in yeah. a movie. Woody doesn't look much different. No, he looks the same. No, he Give me my fucking Twinkie. <laughs> How much do you guys really like the movie, though? You get 30%. I, I like it. I like Zombieland. Yeah, I like Zombieland, too. It's good. It's been I a while since it. I've seen it, but I know I like it. Yeah, it was one of those that, like, I don't know, back in the day, I'd watch it all the time, like at night, you know, before bed. <clears throat> yeah. But this, I don't know, twinkie. Zombieland Double Tap will premiere on October 11th. Seems this year. It's quick. Yeah, it seems you know, fast tracked. Well, I'm sure they've had the script forever, so it's not like yeah. it's you know. I, I'm and, sure um, it's not going to take a lot. Either. Yeah, it's going to be a quick. Rosario you know? Rosario Dawson has joined <laughs> I, the cast. Oh, I'm never sure mind. I was about to say that, but you know who else is in it? Who? Zoe Deutsch. Ooh, Zoe Deutsch. Zoe Deutsch. But Rosario Dawson. Hmm. I was just like, I don't know. This would be interesting to see. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. How they so, do. It feels like they should have done this a while ago. But Isn't Bill Murray in it, too? Yeah. Somehow? <laughs> yeah, somehow. <clears throat> interesting. Let me see. Let, let me check out the IMDb real quick. Um, okay, so I pull up Zombieland 2 on IMDb, and the first video is a Child's Play one. Oh. Off to a good start. Uh, Dan Acro is going to be in it, Bill Murray, mm. playing themselves. Okay, so they're going to go more Ghostbusters. Got it. I'll watch. I'll watch. I'm a it's fan of the be first a, one. The end of it's going to be a prequel to the new Ghostbusters movie. There you go. Oh, speaking of Ghostbusters, you know, that shit came out with the uh, 
the new teaser that's coming out. You know, it came out of nowhere. Yeah. What, what's I her name? Was that was ragging on it? Leslie Jones. Yes. Was she? Oh man, <laughs> she was not happy about that. Of course not, because her movie sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have. Uh, I don't have the tweets in front of me, but man, she was. Uh, she was getting a lot of backlash. For it too. Talking in a lot of shit about how it, you know, was disrespectful to their movie or whatever, and that's crazy. How? Oh, whatever. Well, no. Yeah, whatever. That's right. <laughs> Just an interesting tidbit. Mm, don't want to get too much into that, but yeah, you you made a sequel to the beloved first two. Yeah. Right. So now, how does that make sense? <laughs> oh, I don't know. So now you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what else do you got? Uh, well, that's it really for news. There, there wasn't really much going on, but uh, got a few trailers here. Um, you, did you guys see Unsane? I did. I haven't watched that yet. I actually just watched that like a couple weeks ago. Is that for free? Can you watch that on like Amazon for free? I Prime, think it, I think. I think okay. it's on Prime, yeah. Okay, cool. Shot on an iPhone. Yeah, it's not a bad film at all. And you got Josh from uh, Oh, yeah, sorry, from Blair Witch, yeah. He didn't really Good die. Man. Good Josh Leonard performance. Well, anyway, Steven Soderbergh is coming out with a new film using the same techniques on an iPhone called High Flying Bird. Um, wow. Yeah, and this one's more so like... <laughs> <laughs> I tried watching these trailers, dude. Some of these are so boring. I was trying. Kind of boring. Well, it's about sports, so that would do it, I would think. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, anyway, it's about a uh, it's about an agent, and a basketball agent. Helping his athlete. I shot on an athlete. iPhone? Yeah, shot on an iPhone. I liked it better when they called that Blue Chips, starring uh, Nick Nolte back in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> look, look it up. It's a good oh, movie. Blue Chips. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, we also have a sequel, Spider-Man Far From Home. Ew. God, I'm so excited to see Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, wait, honestly, how do you feel about that? Oh, I I didn't like the first one, so... No, but did you you watch the trailer, though, right? Oh, I watched the trailer. Like, the only thing that would get me to even see it, well, other than the fact that T loves those movies, is that Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. Can you he, tell T to quit watching that smut? <laughs> hey, she... Did you say smut? She, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are allowed to like different things. Yeah, that's, that's true, okay. Seth. No, T's not allowed to like that. <laughs> I'm telling you to tell her no. Okay, I'll tell her. That's she'll right. Tell, she'll say fuck off. <laughs> yeah, Seth. that's that's right. Maybe you should tip somebody. Some... Oh, hey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next one, I don't know. I thought it was interesting just because uh, it's d- going to be directed by Chiwetel Ejiofor, but it's the man who harnessed the wind. I don't know. It's about African kid who uses the wind to power his little village. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be, like I said, directed Sounds by... Sounds boring. It <laughs> probably is. <laughs> but it's Chiwetel Ejiofor's directorial debut, and that seems to be... Who? That, that, 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> okay. That seems I want to see Parkhat Abdi direct Yeah. Something. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see him... There we go. <laughs> Ew. I'd like to. I'd like to see somebody direct him to fix his teeth a little bit. Dang, hey. bro. Oh, teeth talking, filming. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You hey. look like a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Just suck, it, suck each other off. <laughs> um, yeah, but that seems to be the thing now. All these actors are taking on directorial. Okay. Work. Which, I saw. I, mean, I saw that. It's it always look, been a thing. But. It didn't look bad. It looked like a like a decent film. But like, how invested are you in that story? You know, it sounds exactly. like it would be like a sounds like a good animated film. Like it should be animated. I don't it know. It sounds why. like a perfect Ghibli film. Does, Ooh, it doesn't. It does. Like that sounds yeah. like a fucking Ghibli movie. Yeah, it didn't look bad. It's just like it could be like one of those sleepers that you watch. You're like, that was better than I expected. Mm-hmm. Well, I like those because I go in hating everything (laughs) that's true that's true um well speaking of something you'll probably hate john wick three yep (laughs) have you seen the first two but have you seen it (laughs) 
Yeah, I mean they're they're a little um, overrated, but they're okay action movies. But. It's not of much interest to me. Yeah. Well, good thing this isn't for you. It's for the audience. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the last one here is called Hole in the Ground. They're calling it like the it, the Irish Hereditary. Oh, wow. okay. Trailer looked pretty interesting. Um, had the same style as like the Get Out and the uh, Hereditary trailers with like the quick violin. Yeah. Do, 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 do. The quick editing. But it, it could be good. Um, always looking for. There's always that one horror film every year that. That's true. Is this uh, A24 or Studio Canal? Uh, is that what it is? I don't know. I'm just. Oh. Guessing. Let me let me let me check. Let me let me get that for you. It <clears> might be A24. Check it. Uh. Wow. <laughs> God. <laughs> Where are you gonna put it in your fucking A24 ranked list? Uh, I'll put it in uh, probably around shove it up your ass. And Number two behind Morse from America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a twenty four, so that means it's gonna be good. But that's what yeah, that have means. you watched Splice or Slice, whatever it's called? Ew. No, but that doesn't look interesting to me. If it that's looks interesting I mean. to me and it's a twenty four, then it's probably good. Dude, have you heard about that movie with uh, Ewan McGregor and uh, what's Doctor Sleep? Train Spotting. No. <laughs> Yeah, you bring it up every time, to- every no, week. No, the chick from fucking uh, uh, Blue Thor's Color. Uh, what's her name? Huh? Leah? Oh, the... Yeah. Leah Sedu? Yeah, it's called Zoe. 2018 science fiction melodrama. Gee. Huh. Must have skipped. Ooh. Drake... <laughs> Ooh. Drake Dormus. He did uh, Light Crazy. I love that movie. I'm telling you, I saw this on Prime the other day. Well, I scrolled past it. It looked like a sleeper, but then I read some reviews about it, and I just moved on. <laughs> oh. Well, never like, mind. It could be good. I, I I love like crazy. That's with Anton Yelchin and Felicity Jones. Oh, okay. is that the one Not where the... he like gets he gets dumped or something? No, she's there on like a school visa. That's what it is. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch that. Yeah, it's it's great. It's you can't great. tell me that the poster for that Zoe film doesn't look uh, like something that all these film snob fucks would eat up. Oh, they're gonna eat it up for <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my god, Ooh. it's colored. Leah say do. Oh, so hot. <clears throat> cool. Might have to add that to my list just in case. Would you bang her if she looked like she did in Blue's Lorm's color? Well, <laughs> I th- do I know what she can look like? <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't terrible in the blue is warmest color. She yeah, was she... very uh, masculine. I mean, yeah, people. but uh, probably. <laughs> I don't Key I word there, I... lesbian. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm tainted by what I know she can look like. No, they. She's. I don't think she's very hot in that movie, but in real life, she's hot. Oh yeah. It's like uh, you know the question I've asked a few times. You know, Charlize Theron and uh, Monster. No, no, never. She was wearing that. <laughs> never. But then if that brings came, a, that brings look, up the question: Do you know what she actually looks like? If she came into your apartment, no. Matt, and just knocking on your door, and she looked dro- like. <laughs> no, Eileen Warnes. That's gross. And that makeup, but she, but you knew it was just Charlize. the makeup. Like, it's if her was, with the makeup. She, it's not really her. She, no, if she looked like she stepped out of that fucking movie. No. But you know it's Charlize. <laughs> <laughs> I may know that, but my dick doesn't know that. So That's a fucking great question. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listeners, uh, respond to that. <laughs> Send it your, would you fuck Charlize Theron? Is that her name? Theron? Theron. Yeah, or, yeah you're Charlize close. Theron. Would you, Theron. Would you Theron. fuck Charlize Theron, Theron if she uh, looked like she did in Monster? <laughs> would you fuck Charlize Theon Greyjoy? I've got to be honest. I mean, she's ugly as sin in that film, but man, I would at least try because I know what she looks like. <laughs> I would try. I would try. I don't think you would have to try very hard. Well, like if I ha- what if I was holding my phone and looking at a picture of how she actually looks? No, <laughs> that beats the purpose. <laughs> you could do that with anybody then. If you know what she looks like, I think it'd be very easy to just put that out of your mind. Oh, I don't know, bro. You've seen Mom. I mean that. <laughs> I I've seen what she looks like. Like the crusty white what... panties that she wears in that movie. Ew. Now you're getting into too much detail. Well, that's what I'm it. saying. Just, are, is are she gonna, wearing that stuff? Are you going to bang her or not? Are you gonna, the question, I said no. The question becomes, <laughs> are you going to bang Charlize Theron? In Monster. <laughs> if she, but if she Charlize looked just Theron. like that. Oh, she's mo- scary looking. Yeah. <laughs> she's scary Fuck. looking. <laughs> Scary looking. <laughs> oh God! Oh, man, that'd be tough. That's a great, great question. 
Uh, I want to check one more time. Just so I, can... <laughs> I thought it would. Well, be ironically, like, uh... I mean, she was like a prostitute, so people did bang her in the movie. So. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. F- Christ. I'm gonna man, take I don't back care for... my answer. <laughs> God damn, man. She looks get... exactly like Eileen Warnos. She really though. does. It's, yeah. It's a hell it's crazy. of a makeup job. I still never seen that. I need to. Me either. At least it's oh, disturbing. it's dirty. Like... You know we talk about dirty <laughs> movies. <laughs> That's that's up there. Imagine. That's in the genre. Think, Not even backtrack? Christina Ricci looks great in that movie. Can we backtrack a bit? Talk about dirty films and <laughs> the trailers. Can we talk about the beach bum? Oh, I, oh, yeah. I couldn't even finish the trailer, dude. Are you serious? Yeah, it looks yeah like shit, I couldn't. I mean, you know how I feel about Harmony Cooper. I, t- this has like masterpiece written all over it for me. Did you watch Spring Breakers? I did. It sucked. <laughs> okay, that's all you need to know. Well, I feel like, like that's his. This is his new genre. He's beach? not going back to gummo. He's, He's going, going back beach. with that vibrant, yeah, beach shit, you know? Dirty beach genre? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dirty beach genre. Broken Dirty. glass beach genre. Dirty bitch genre. genre. How, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I need to sit down and watch the full trailer. I thought it looked like fucking great, man. I really want to see it. Martin Lawrence? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> back to Charlize. No, let's let's back to nothing. Let's oh God, <laughs> let's on. get the fuck out of that conversation. Uh, Let us know, listeners. I'm curious. <laughs> uh, you got any actually, we're deals? gonna actually we're gonna run a poll on that on Twitter. <laughs> so. uh, I'll, I'll set up a poll on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking funny shit. I'm curious. <laughs> okay, uh, you got some Blu-rays, some Virgin deals. Uh, yeah, I have a Virgin deal today. It's kind of funny. We were talking about it. Um, John Wick 3 is coming out, or is going to come out. So why would you have a two-pack of John Wick 1 and John Wick 2? Because like, people will buy it. And that's what I mean. It's so stupid. Three. Well, you can buy John Wick 1 and 2 in a double pack for twenty two ninety nine. I don't think anything extra or any of that stuff. So. <laughs> is it 4K? Why, why the? No. <laughs> Ugh. Blu-ray, yeah. DVD, and digital copy. Why would you buy John Wick anyways? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even buy it when it was, like, Black <clears throat> Friday. I'm ready for Bill and Ted 3. Fuck John Wick. <laughs> yeah, but is the world. <clears throat> okay. Academy Award for here. Best Director goes to Alex Winter. <laughs> <laughs> the Smosh movie. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. Coming to Blu-ray, February fifth, twenty nineteen. Widows, filmies. I think you watched this one, right? You liked yeah, it? Yeah, I don't. I, it's good. I don't know if I like Steve it much McQueen. As I initially, did. It's like a, it's a solid uh, heist movie. Okay, that comes oh, out. Much Tower Heist. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, the one I wanted to watch, the Sisters Brothers. With uh, with Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and John C. John Riley. C. Riley. <clears throat> okay. Might want to might want to peep that. Peep this out. Oh, <laughs> rest in peace, buddy. <laughs> In K. <laughs> 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 Fucking blood clot. That's crazy. Anyway, um, oh here you go, Seth. Why does it take a year for this to come out? Cloverfield Paradox. Oh, yeah, that because was a year ago. It was released. It. I know. Yeah, Super like, Bowl. why even bother now? Well, if you don't want to buy the one, <laughs> you can buy the three-pack, the Cloverfield three-movie uh, collection. There's only don't, one good uh, movie in there. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> there's two There's two good movies in there. There's one great movie, there's one good movie, and there's one shit movie. <laughs> there you go. You can have yeah, whatever experience you want to have. Two, one, three. Whatever experience you want to have, you can have it. You know, I remember leaving my Super Bowl party early last year to rush home and watch that fucking clunker film. I know. I was, in, I was in such a good mood, and then it depressed me. Could have been so good. Well, no, it probably couldn't have been good. But, could have been. You know, <clears throat> there's a could. there's a rumor that that new Ben Affleck heist movie might do the same thing this year. Oh, really? What, just drop in the Super Bowl? Is that like yeah. the new thing or whatever? That might be a new thing. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, that seems to be all that's really coming out. Wow. Well. <laughs> Not much coming out the theaters either. But what would you expect in January? Exactly. Uh oh wait. February. What the yeah. fuck? Big game. January's February. over. What 
So it's like right between. So you weren't prepared. January no, and just, March is February. Yeah. No, it's like skipping. So on Friday, what's what day is Friday going to be? Like the first. Yeah, it doesn't have anything for that. Fucking bitch. Whatever, it doesn't matter because it probably sucks anyway. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go see theater movies in the theater. That's, that's yeah, we the just point. talked about that. Don't do it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of movies in the theater, Oscar nominations came out. God. Yeah. And these were very uninspiring, to say the least. You know, man. This is the first. Year. This is the first year that I didn't request it off. Right, I honestly, <laughs> seriously, I, I honestly have been looking forward to the Oscars every year, you know, for a while now, mm-hmm. and I just I don't feel that at all here. No, I mean the year ended up being good as far as movies go, but like these movies that they deem oh. quality enough, these are not good. This is a very lackluster year. Uh, I will say though that this may be the most interesting um, Oscar picks we've ever had because it's not as simple and easy to make those picks yeah so what are we going to do we're going to just kind of go through the nominations this episode and then two weeks from now we'll do our picks exactly okay. yes the next episode will be our picks where I win for like the fourth time in five years uh, I won last year can we just not do like can we just not do a blu-ray prize this year? I don't have the money for it I'm okay with that <laughs> so what just nothing we're just, just going to do uh, it for fun just for fun's sake Okay, no, we could a ten dollar. Jesus Christ, make a decision. <laughs> Shut uh, up! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, most indecisive. I think the fucker. audience would be more intrigued if we were playing for something. So we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll play for something. Play okay. for pinks. Yeah. Pink slips ownership papers. Paul Walker. <laughs> what? He's playing for pinks, so okay. he was a. Uh, <laughs> okay, get, what do we got? For, okay, this? best uh, best director. Uh... That's where you want to start with? You want to do like visual effects? Do the or... shitty no, ones no, first. Go, build it up. Through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing like all the costume stuff. I'm yeah, no, do like, like the main, whatever the main. Uh... Okay, so visual effects. We've got Avengers Infinity War, Christopher Robin. Love that. Ooh. First Man, Ready Player One, and Solo, a Star Wars story. Okay. Uh, kind of just like want to make my picks now. But anyways... Um... It's cool to see like Christopher Robin in there, but it's got no chance against some of these other ones. True. No, it doesn't. Where the fuck is Paddington? Give me a break. <laughs> Nobody cares about that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do. 100% of people on, on 100%. Rotten Tomatoes care. <laughs> 100%? Is it really at 100? Yeah, it's at 100. Paddington Pathetic. 2 is at 100%. Wow. Pathetic. Shut up. He is delightful. You, yeah, he is delightful. <laughs> you, you need to catch up on your bear genres. Yeah, you do. No, well, thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I'll stick to pizzeria comedies. That's right. Hey, a little Italy not available on Prime. Dirty New York genre. That's right. <laughs> I'll stick to my beach bum categories. <laughs> Looks great. <clears throat> uh, original song: All the Stars from Black Panther. Nope. I'll fight from RGB <laughs> or RBG. <laughs> the place where thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just spit like, it out. <laughs> I can't read. I've got dementia. The Place Where Lost Things Go from Mary Poppins Returns, Shallow from A Star is Born, When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings from The Bow to Buster Scruggs. That's cool to see that on there. It's yeah. Song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have, I've, seen, I've seen, let's see, I've seen A Star is Born, and that's it. <laughs> Underwhelmed. <laughs> and that song sucked, so. <laughs> no, it didn't. Sorry, that's there is no one of the better ones. electronic components to it. Shut. Yeah, if only there was synth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, original score, Black Klansman, Black Panther, If Beale Street Could Talk, Isle of Dogs, Mary Poppins Returns. Well, there's your your black <laughs> representation right there. Yeah, that's right. Enough for a couple years. Where's the, <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Johan Johansson score? Oh, wait, he's dead. Oh, rip. Did he kill himself? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't remember what happened. I don't think it ever came out, or at least it wasn't when I was looking at it. Yeah, it's like there's no cause of death for that guy. It probably was like it a probably, suicide yeah. or OD or something. Yikes! That's what usually happens. <clears throat> uh, best foreign language film: Capernaum from Lebanon, Cold War from Poland, Never Look Away from Germany, Roma from Mexico, and Shoplifters from Japan. What's the first one? Capernaum. Kaput Draconis. 
<laughs> Caprich Dracotis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, what is the foreign film? Yeah. Foreign film, yes. Well, I need to watch Roma. I do too, but I have to be in the right mindset. Yeah, to watch what, that Mexican. Yeah, <laughs> I got to eat like burrito or something. Isn't that every day for you? Wow, you racist swine! No, you're wow. Mexican. It's true. <laughs> oh, Stab, p- playing the vi- playing the victim card. Build the wall. S- sorry. <laughs> best <laughs> cinematography. Sticking in my eye. <laughs> uh, best cinematography. You got Lucas Zoll. Cold War, Robbie Ryan, The Favorite, Caleb Deschanel, Never Look Away, Alfonso Cuaron, Roma, and Matthew Labatik for Stars Born. Alfonso yeah. Cuaron did his own cinematography? Wow. Yeah, you didn't I've know got that? A, no, I didn't. I have to admit, I didn't care. I mean, A Star is Born was just like average to me, but it did look very nice. Yeah. It was well shot. Yeah. Um, What was the second one? The Favorite? That, uh, that too. I didn't really care for that, but... It shot looks, well. Looks great. Roma looked great. Uh, Alfonso really like took a lot of Emmanuel Lubezki's yeah. look through his, from his film, so that that one looked good too. Right. <clears throat> uh, original screenplay: The Favorite, First Reformed. Ooh. Ooh, nice. there you go. Green Book, Roma, and Vice. <clears throat> okay. I'm gl- okay. I'm glad to see First Reformed get something. Yes. Come on, Polly. Uh, yes, Polly. Yes, baby. <clears throat> Even though he just pretty much remade Taxi Driver with that movie, but that's okay. Did he? Yeah, it takes it's like it takes a lot from Taxi Driver. Really? I'm sure a lot of things do. Yeah. Well, he wrote Taxi Driver. Yeah, so I was like, like, if anyone yes. could take from his own <laughs> stuff, it'd be him. Yeah. Shut up, it's okay. Well, it's like, you know, well, we get it. Did you research it though? Research nah, what? I probably just saw like the title of an article. <laughs> no, this was my um my viewpoint while I was watching. Oh, okay. like, oh, oh, this reminds me of Taxi Driver. Okay, so it's wrong. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck uh, da- you. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. Adapted screenplay: The Bow to Buster Scruggs, Black Klansman. Can you ever forgive me if Beale Street could talk and A Star Is Born? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same shit. Oscar so shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Oscar so bland. Oscar so black. God. Just not inspiring. No. Nope. Uh animated feature Incredibles 2. No. Isle of Dogs. Huh. Mirai, Ralph Breaks the Internet and Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. You know, our, three Disney films on there. Look, the the whole Pixar animation thing, you know, it's it's awesome, but like Enough already. We, you know, it's not groundbreaking or anything anymore. They all look the same. Yeah, Spider Man looks different though. Well, it's the Spider Verse. Yeah, <laughs> I hear it's so good. I'd like to. See, is that Michael Ray Bauer? Uh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be any sweaty, be. bearded individual. True. I'd like to see uh, Isle of Dogs here. I know. I have it. <clears throat> Watch I mean, I'd like to see it win. <laughs> yeah, we we've seen it. Oh no, I know we've you have. It. I know you have. I'm just saying we're I cinema guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wes Anderson is great. What are you doing, Matt? Sorry, not his best effort though. I will say. No. Well, I mean, I like his live action movies. Yeah. So do I. So do I. Uh, director: <clears throat> Spike Lee, Black Klansman, Paul Paulkowski, Cold War, Yorgos Lanthimos, The Favorite, Alfonso Cuarón. Cuaron, the Roma, and Adam McKay for Vice. <laughs> Uninspiring. Oh, it is. It's just fucking like Adam oh, McKay, God. huh? Yeah, Adam Who'd McKay. Who'd have thought? Anchorman. Step Brothers to Oscar winning <laughs> director. Yeah, uh, yeah. Supporting actress, Amy Adams, Vice, Marina de Tavira, Roma, Regina King, If Beale Street Could Talk, Emma Stone, The Favorite, Rachel Vice, The Favorite. It's interesting that they're uh, counting Olivia Coleman as a lead actress in the favorite. Don't you, I kind of feel like they, they're going to have a hard on for that movie. I think so too. Yeah, like that's going to be the one that kind of takes a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of the Oscars. Yeah. Uh, uh, supporting actor Mahershala Ali, Green Book, Adam Driver, Black Klansman, Sam Elliott, A Star Is Born, Richard E. Grant, Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell, Vice. Hmm. What do you think okay. of Sam Elliott? It was fine. 
Like for him, I thought he was really good. I've never seen him have like any emotional. Yeah, acting. it seemed out of you know a little bit different for him. I, I mean, I thought it was it was fine. You know, I'm just having trouble like separating a lot of this stuff as like oh award winning. You know, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah. no, I agree. It's tough. <clears throat> Uh, lead actress Yalitza Aparicio Roma, Glenn Close the favorite, Olivia Col- or sorry Glenn Close the wife, Olivia Coleman the favorite, Lady Gaga stars born, Melissa McCarthy can you ever forgive me? This wow. is best actress. Yes. Okay, Lady Gaga does not deserve an Oscar. You don't think so? No, no. But Melissa McCarthy does. Part. No, I'm not <laughs> <Okay>. saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much like, what you said. <laughs> like Lady Gaga was fine. It's just like, she, oh my god, her performance is so good. Like, but who had a better one all year? Who, Tony okay, Collette. Who? who yeah, yeah, Tony exactly. Collette. She sh- she should be the best actress. Who else is in this? What? This category. Uh, Yelitsa Aparicio. She's from Roma. She's like, it's her first. I film. heard she was really good. Right. I she's good. Yeah. yeah. Like I could see it going to her just because like. She's new. It's her She's first never act, She yeah. did really well. Glenn Close won the Golden Globe. Yeah, I don't want her to win. I don't want Lady Gaga to win. Cause Give it to Olivia them, Coleman. Both of them are going to get up there. Instead of just saying thanks for their award, they're going to go on some fucking bullshit rant about women. <laughs> and, oh, you know, just like. Hey, Let them have their moment. Enough with the fucking moments. <laughs> enough with, with the mitchin. <laughs> enough with the mitchin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just Joe Pesci did it right. Oh, thank you. And then move on with your life, you know? No, he said thanks. Whatever, He said thanks. my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure, whatever. Fucking idiot. You know, the, you're, you're there being rewarded for your performance in a film, not for your... Uh... But it's their time to speak, and you are not going to silence them. Oh, oh, I know. Let I them just... be heard. Oh, I know. They've been silenced <laughs> oh, for I years. Know. You know, Glenn Close, instead of, uh, you know, instead of going up there and... Making a speech about you know her cast and crew instead of it's oh oh it's uh, uh, I'm not just a wife and it's like I, I thought hers was pretty good. It, what are you talking the, about? It's the other ones are definitely a little like uh, Frances McDormand last year. Oh, she, you know I always liked her before that. A speech made you not like her? Yeah, they're the Sad, worst. Strange little man. No, those people are the worst. <laughs> Those people. I can separate their acting abilities with their yeah, personal life. Yeah, fuck. It's a hit at his ego or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just I'm sticking it up. But, you know, it's just like, just come on. Like, I don't know. I it get it, like though. The past, yeah. the no, past few years, it's been more about, like, you know. Black Lives Matter or well, right. you know, Oscar Me So White. Me Too or Oscar Me So White. I mean, up. get up there and say thanks to the people that put you in the movie and the I people agree. that, that, made, that the made you look good. together. You right. Know? Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. That's just my thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, well, which lead actor is going to make the big speech? Christian Bale for Vice. Bradley he will, Cooper for sure. Star, Star what? Born. Well, he compared Dick Cheney to Satan. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't win for that bullshit. Bradley Cooper, Star is Born. Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate. Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen. For Rom- Rami's going to be making that speech, baby. Probably. I want to see Willem win. Yeah, that'd be, that'd cool. be nice. William. <laughs> Will- William. <laughs> William Defoe. <laughs> William Defoe. Billy Defoe. Okay. I'd like to see William win. <laughs> and then we get to the dreaded, uninspired best picture. Ugh. One of these films is going to be able to say it was the best film of the year. And that's just depressing. We have Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, <laughs> Green Book, Roma, A Star is Born, and Vice. Oh my usually, God. usually every year I have like a favorite that I just want to win, and I know this. I just don't <laughs> care. I don't. I don't. I care. agree. The past few years, I've had one movie that I'm really pulling for. This, I just, I'm indifferent. Not even Green Book. I, I would, I guess, out of what you just named, actually, out of those films, I thought Bohemian Rhapsody is my favorite out of what I've seen out of those. Wow. But you know, I think they're gonna have a like I said. Uh, I don't want. We don't want to be making our picks now. But no, no, I don't know. You know, I know what you get. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. 
it's just like I said, I think this will be the interesting year where there's a lot of surprises and it's not going to be as easy to, yeah. to pick who's going to Oh, win. no. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is I really liked Bohemian Rhapsody, but Best Picture, no. You know? Yeah. yeah. But that's how I feel about all these. Like, I really liked Green Book, but a Best Picture winner? I don't know. It says a lot about the quality of the films that, well, they picked, not that came out, but that they picked. Right. Yeah. I wanted to love the favorite, too. Yeah, you want to talk about pretentious? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a letterbox user's wet dream. Oh yeah, well that's it. Yorgos uh... makes a lot of average films. <laughs> Yorgos, oh, great. I love the lobster. No, it's average. Uh, okay, dog well, tooth. The... Uh... Huh? Dog tooth? Oh, that's below average. <laughs> Well, the Oscars, they're going to be February 24th, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 are we, p.m. Are we doing a post-Oscar stream, or are you going to be working? Uh, what time does it end? Because I'll be off like at 8 at the latest. Well, so it's I'm usually sure. like three hours or so. Well, but there's no host, so they might go shorter. Yeah, I mean, we, we could do it. We'll just set it for a, l- a later time. We have to keep tradition alive. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no, we'll, we'll do it. It'll happen. It, It'll. I'm, we're going to do it. God damn it. I don't care. I'll do it. I mean, I'll oh, do talk it. about a fucking terrible movie. <laughs> Not a terrible movie. The Disaster Artist is okay. I th- but oh god. Yeah, it's not. T- I mean, I, I was entertained by it. You know eh. that one chick is so hot in there. I don't know what. What's that blonde chick? Oh, I know who you're talking about. She's like in all those kind of weird movies. Yeah. Uh fuck. Oh, Grainer, Gr- Ari, Gr- Ari Grainer. Ari Grainer. Yeah. Man, she is fucking fine. What movie is this? Mm. Uh, the disaster. disaster. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I see that chick pop up. I'm like, fuck, mommy, yeah. mama, mama. <laughs> That's it. End it. Anything else, Leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> you stop being a bully. Stop it. Make well, some original films, yeah, filmies. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go on living my life. <laughs> Not following people, not reading dumb letterbox <laughs> reviews. Oh, man. This whole thing proves why I don't follow people. So. There is no whole thing. It's nothing. Just uh, do your research. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'll, I'll make sure to to uh, reference every, uh, every account ever made on YouTube from now on. Well, you better. Look forward to Filmy's next short about a boy who's a wizard who goes to a school. <laughs> Well, there's wizards. It's, it's totally his idea, origin. his original it's idea. Gonna a, it's going to be an origin story. And there's going to be a, there's a teacher there with black hair. He's kind of mean. He ends up. He ends up. <laughs> you haven't seen those all the way, have you, Matt? I'm missing the last one. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then oh, I'm you should write in a spoil character it. that's. I almost. Should... I almost spoiled it. Make sure you write in a character that's like eight feet tall with facial hair. I think that, that's a pretty cool oh, idea. Half giant, half human. Yeah, I think that's pretty original. Uh, I think I'll do that. Yeah, I think yeah, I'll yeah. make after that I'll make a, a prison escape film. About, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A guy falsely imprisoned. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, this good. is great. It's cool. It's cool. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait yeah, to then, steal then it. you should make a, a movie about an Italian boxer in New York who <laughs> is not... <laughs> I honestly I'd prefer you to do one about a Philadelphia boxer, but that's just me. But, but then Italian you should make like <laughs> <laughs> but like instead of one movie about it you should do like nine do like a about it. you know do a bunch of them <laughs> yeah you should yeah. kill off one of the main characters yeah. like halfway through and then make like extensions about oh, dude kid. then his son could be in it yeah so then you could extend it on yeah you that's know good. one once sylvester or i mean once the guy oh, yeah. you make in the film <laughs> is done with it <laughs> Uh, you can, you can. You know, you should just character. try. I mean, not a lot of people do World War Two movies, so you should probably do one about Ooh. World War Two. Maybe D Day started off. <laughs> you know, it's a little I ambitious, think, but I think I think, you I can think do the it. way you can kind of make it different though is that you just make it super intense and realistic. There you go. Use your Canon T three I and just really, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, make it documentary style. <laughs> I think that'd be like really great. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool. And then you should probably make something where there's a lustful father after his friend's daughter or his yeah. daughter's friend. There you go. I like that. I That's like it. that. Yeah. So anyway, many ideas. A lot of Damn. metaphors and imagery. Damn. You are a creative genius, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, I might have to consult the internet first, but I think uh, I've got some original ideas. 
I think so. Any closing thoughts, boys? No. No. I love movies, but not this year's movies. I'm going to go downstairs and pick up my Nintendo Switch package and then just put the return label on it without opening it. <laughs> uh, and then later on, you're going to text a picture of you playing it. Should I open Should I open it or not? Uh, should Seth open his Switch or not? Dude, open it. You can still return it if you open it, right? I don't know. Not a game console. You got a couple uh, questions that we'll have to ask in the Instagram. Yeah. The big, the top priority should be that Charlize <laughs> Theron poll. But. I'll put that up right when we're done. Yeah, so like you know, would you find? It'll, it'll, it'll be a, 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 a renowning like, like 75 percent. No, it'll be like if Charlize Theron knocked on your door dressed yeah. like this and asked to fuck. Would you <laughs> now dressed like or like had? <laughs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> God damn, that's fucking I'm going to put it up right now. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, let's see it. Let's end it. All uh, right. That's episode 126. Hey, make sure you guys check out Matt's film, What We Leave Behind. Thanks. Uh, turn out turn out really well, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, cause so check that out if you haven't seen it. It's on YouTube. Uh, let us know what you think. Leave some comments, questions regarding this episode and future episodes. Appreciate you guys listening. Thank you. And as always, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>